So what are these properties that you're losing each time you go further up? And unfortunately, what you lose is when you go from the complex numbers to the quaternions, the property you lose is this. In complex numbers, a times b is equal to b times a. So the order doesn't matter when you multiply numbers. So 3 times 5 is 5 times 3. In the quaternions, that's not true. Uh, order does matter. And that makes sense using this 3D rotation as, as well, because if we're taking our rotations around an object, then order does matter. If you rotate one way and then rotate another way, it doesn't matter which order. You do, you do get a different answer if you do it in a different order. Like a Rubik's Cube. Like a Rubik's Cube. Exactly. He's learning. So many years we've been doing this. He's learning. Yeah, so you, the order matters. And then if you go one step further into the octonians, what you lose is uh, typically numbers do this. A times B times C in a bracket is equal to A times B first and then times C. So if I group those and do those first and then do A, or group A and B first and then do C, you get the same answer, right? And that's true for the real numbers, the complex numbers and the quaternions, and that's what you lose in the octonions. And then and in the, there, is a, there is a property that's similar but weaker, and then you lose that when you go further into the Sidonians. And, and so each time you do it, everything become, becomes less structured have the number so this is the number written out in full it's a quite a big file there you go it's got a 17 and a half million digit this file is about 22 meg now apparently your brain can store about 2.5 million gig of memory 